Doubt is the cage that keeps you from achieving your full potential. Hi, I'm Nana and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're not, welcome back. How you doing? I missed you. So it's day three of our week of words. And today I'm going to be talking about doubt and fear. When I was a child, I was fearless, especially in my creativity. I would think of something and do it. So I'd constantly be writing, making plays, drawing, you know, acting, whatever I could do, I would just do it. As is with life, when you grow up, you lose that fearlessness and ability to just not care about what people are thinking. The first time I uploaded a video to YouTube was in 2009. And it was kind of early in YouTube days, you know, not a lot of people were really using YouTube. Um, I remember it was a dance video that I posted up. And in those days I used my webcam to record. And so my face filled the screen for the first few seconds of the video. And I posted, I was so happy, I was like, yeah, everybody's gonna love my video, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, nothing really happens until a few days later. I get a comment and I remember I was just so excited about the comment I was like "Ooh, somebody commented they must love it so much and when I looked at the comment I was crushed because some stupid troll was like get your fat face out the camera bitch uh what for someone to attack me like that for that I just thought maybe I shouldn't make anything maybe I shouldn't do anything you know and that doubt that fear has sort of kept me back from doing a lot of the things that I've wanted to do over the years. There have been times where I have created entire videos, I shoot them from start to finish, I edit them completely, I might even upload them to YouTube on private, and then I decide not to put it up. Self-doubt and fear convince me that my video is not good enough, that people will judge me for being myself, for you know having an opinion, for speaking. And I really had to work against that. The problem with self-doubt is that it keeps us from living the life that we actually want. You know, the fear it creates keeps us comfortable but ultimately unfulfilled. And the thing about comfort is that you cannot grow in it. Even with the human body, puberty, the transition from being a child to an adult, is an uncomfortable stage of growth but it's necessary for you to progress on to the next level. The same thing with growth within yourself and combating doubt. You know, you have to take action. You have to be uncomfortable in order to grow. At the end of the day, you are not who your doubts want you to be. And the only way to combat doubt is to take action. Just jump in head first, you gotta do it. There are three things that have helped me combat doubt in my life. So the first is know your why. You have to establish a clear reason for doing what you're doing. And you need to establish this why for when self-doubt comes in and asks, what's the point? Like, what are you doing? Why go through all this stress? You have to think of your ultimate why, your goal. When I posted my first video on this channel, I made the video, I edited it, I put it on YouTube, I kept it on private, and before I released it, I was in my room and I was afraid. I spent a good hour in fear. And I just kept thinking of all the negative things that could happen, like the worst things that could happen. People will insult me for starting. People won't be interested, blah, 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 blah. You know, and knowing my why sort of snapped me out of that because once I realized that I was doing it because I enjoyed it and I eventually want to be a content producer, in the future, the fear seemed irrational and silly. And so I put my video up there and I got some tremendous support. I was really happy about it. And yeah, knowing my why pushed me through that fear and helped me take action. The best thing about that is once I released the video, the joy I felt was immense. You know, I, I, I loved it. So just know your why. Number two, learn to embrace rejection. Rejection sucks. It's terrible, it's painful, and it's necessary to grow. Not everything is for everybody, you know, and 
it sucks, but you're not going to get every opportunity that you want in life. But if you keep putting yourself out there, eventually one will stick. You have to think of rejections as getting rid of the stuff that is not for you. One thing that I believe is that in life, whatever is yours will come to you. But the thing is, you have to make yourself available for that opportunity. And for me, this is the toughest point, you know, like you can't take rejections too personally. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't let these rejections distract you from your why. You shouldn't let these rejections discourage you from fulfilling your purpose ultimately. You just have to keep going. And number three, protect your personal space. And so this has to do with the company you keep and the people you allow into your life. As I said, not everybody is for you, you know, and I've learned the hard way that you can't allow just anybody into your life. You have to be careful about the type of people you let into your environment because they definitely do have a big impact on you and the way you feel about yourself. I've had to stop talking to people who were too negative, who were constantly criticizing me, who were belittling everything that I did because ultimately I would take their comments and kind of internalize them and that in turn would grow my doubt. So you got to protect your space. So if you get anything from my video today, all I want to say is you got to keep going, keep pushing forward because self-doubt is a cage that will hold you from achieving your full potential. And at the end of the day, you don't want to go through like feeling unfulfilled because you never tried. You know, like you will miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Okay, so let me know some of the things that you've done to combat self-doubt or some of the ways you are struggling with self-doubt and fear. Thank you for joining me on day three of my week of words. Stick around for tomorrow, more interesting topics to come. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.